Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and I'm here today with Curtis, Miss Fame. Thank you for having me, I'm of so course. excited to actually be painting you. I am beyond excited. I've never done any type of drag before. Well, it's a good place to start. With Fame? Yeah, of yeah. course. Okay. Okay. Anything's Basically. possible. Yes, anything's possible. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna take some glue. We're gonna hide your brows. I feel like this is the most like well-known part. Of yes, I think it's the most impactful part because you're eliminating natural features of the face. So you've never done drag? Never in my life. How's my eyebrow look? Oh, I wanna look like a, a messy queen. For the people at home, can you tell them what drag is? Drag is just the ability to kind of showcase the essence of what you feel you are. It's not, it's an element of expression. It's amplifying who you can consider yourself to be. What's the worst drag name you've ever heard? No, because <laughs> I can't, because if you, because those people still are alive. What are some of your favorites you've heard? Oh, I really like um, Fisty Wieners. Oh. Um, head of Lettuce. So my brows are late. Yeah. You can't see. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna look down towards the ground and the tape that lifts. The eyebrow will go up here. I can't see that part. Looking down. Do you remember the first drag queen you ever saw? Probably when I was living in San Luis Obispo where I grew up, Ethelina Kane. Ethelina Kane. Ethelina Kane. She would come to the bar and I was always intrigued but frightened of drag queens. Well, yeah, drag queens like, are intimidating. And she had used her own chest breast tissue to create actual looking breasts with a good cutlet inside so i saw boobs and i was like i don't even think i can close my eye right now that's the goal oh really oh wasn't that weird yeah how did you get your name i originally was fame fatel and then britney had her album out and yeah. i just pulled the fatel and i said miss fame come on eyelids glued shut <laughs> that's my aesthetic yes <laughs> There I go. This is beating the face. I'm gonna be very delicate. I'm on your noticing nose. that. The eyes. Wow, she's gone for it. Is it a natural look? Compared to most drag, this is no makeup. Ooh. How long does it take you to get ready? Three, four hours. Holy macaroni. Which is a little bit crazy sounding, but it's standard for a lot of the queens that are out there. What's the most time. annoying thing you have to just do? Just time. Shaving, Shaving. And then getting yeah, out I, of that, it. Yes. You're like, it feels great, but God, it just takes even that's time consuming. Why do you think drag is important to the kids nowadays? Why should it be? I feel powerful when I'm in drag, and I feel like people really see me. And for a lot of us in our community, especially in the LGBT, we need to feel seen. Yeah. We need to feel like we, we are worth that. How long do you want to do drag? As long as I can carry it well. I don't want to do it and feel crunchy and dusty. You're clearly an artist. You're clearly a creative. Why drag? It's the, the medium that grabbed me. I was trying to be a model as a boy. I moved to New York at 26. I wasn't getting paid buku bucks to be Curtis, you know? But when I got painted as Miss Fame, the room was like gravitating towards me. Everybody was like, God, you look great. You should do that. And then booking started It just happening. made sense. The universe wanted me to be Miss Fame. People in my family think drag queens are people that are trans yeah. or people like you have to be gay. For me, drag is definitely, like, it's a costume for many. It's a way to be like, I'm embellishing myself to put on a show and entertain you. Sure, and there can, be, the there can be transgender drag queen. Being in drag does not dictate your gender, yes. your sexuality. I don't use it as um, a seductive ply to get what I want as much as I'm, I'm using it as a vessel to kind of inspire others. Yeah. It's a lot to work to uh, getting lips overdrawn because if you don't have overdrawn. the framework, you've got to create it. She doesn't have the framework. Framework makes the dream work. It does feel like you're up to my nose painting. If there's like a little gay out there in the world, yeah. that's like, I want to do that. What's your number one tip? Do your research. We have the internet. You have no excuses to do bad drag at this point. I'm putting a mole on. It's on this side. <gasps> a I mole? Always, always do the <laughs> oh my. Right? It's almost so tight that like, I could give you a break. Come on. So we just put on the corset, the bra, the fake tits. Yes. I do feel like businesswoman meets born this way meets ruffles. We had to lube my arms and shoulders up. You wanna feel? 
It's all natural. <laughs> We're just going to do a little martini glass contour. You a know, little like dabble do ya. A little dabble do ya. Mm. I have always said my drag name would be Primature Fatus. Mm. My friends call me Preemie. Let me I'm giving here. you Paul Blart. Pablina Blart. Paul Blima. Pablina. Ooh. And then forehead in. She's ready. She's so ready for this. Okay, now release your hands and lift your chin. I'm ready for my girl. Is she ready? She's so ready. <laughs> I can't wait to see her. Oh, oh. Isn't she lovely? I feel, I don't think I've ever felt prettier, honestly. I feel like incredible. <laughs> I love my drag daughters. Paulina Bart. It's not Blart, Paulina Blart. <laughs> you know what? Maybe if you have a name for me, let, leave it in the comments below. What should my drag name be? And I am so impressed with the way you caring look. I know, <laughs> I know how hard it is to wear latex and corsets. So cor this corset is, I will say, a little bit compact. Yeah. As a super fan of drag and drag culture. This is beyond an honor to even be hanging out with you, let alone to like spend a few hours to chat about why drag is important. That was like, thank you. If you like this video, what can they do? They can follow, like, and subscribe. Yes, oh, me. yes, honey. Yeah, they just click on those buttons that you place in places you want them to see. Right there. Yeah, uh-huh. And if you want to get the t-shirt for this week, it's right there. All the information about the charity it goes toward is in the description below. It's a good cause. Get yourself a new shirt. Okay, thank you so much for watching. This was the most fun. We'll see you guys soon. Love you so much. Bye, friends. Bye. Mwah.